Hello. Uh, I am Najib from Algeria. And in this video, I want to show you how to, how to construct or how to build your coverability graph of a given petri net. Okay. So I have this petri net here. So the first thing is uh, we must specify the, the initial marking. Okay, here we have four places, P1, P2, P3, and P4, okay? The marking of P1 is 1. We have one token here, okay? And the marking of P2 is 0, and the marking of P3 is 0 also, P4 0, and P5 0. So that's the initial marking M0. So from this, from this marking, we have this transition. We have we can uh, we can fire this transition. Okay, just this is fireable now. So from this we can fire T1. When we fire T1, excuse me here for P5. Excuse me. We have zero. Okay. We have five places. One zero 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 zero. Okay. When we fire T1, so what we get, so we remove this token from here and we add one here and one here. So excuse me. <laughs> we we get one here and one here. So this marking here is so zero for P1, one for P2, and one for P3 and 0 for P4 and 0 for P5 okay from this from this uh, from this marking from this marking so we can fire T3 or T2 okay so we can fire T3 or we can also fire T2 Okay, we can fire this or this. If we fire T3 from this marking, what we get, so we remove this and we add one token here. Okay, and this marking here is 0 for P1, 0 for P2, and 1 for P3, and 1 for P4, and 0 for P5. Okay. But if we fire T2 from this marking, from this marking, that's this marking here. When we fire T2 this, so we remove this and we add token here. And this marking is 0 for P1, 1 for P2, and 0 for P3, and 0 for P4, and 1 for P5. So for this, for this marking here, excuse me, here I have one token in P, so P1, P2, and P3, and P4. From this, that's this marking here. From this, what I can fire? I can fire only T2. Okay, this is not fireable. Okay, I can fire T2. So when I fire T2, this, I remove this and I add here, add one token here. And here I have this marking is 0 P1, 0 for P2, and 0 for P3, and 1 for P4, and 1 for P5. Okay? So let's go to this marking, what we can do with this marking here. Uh, so from this marking is 0, 1, MP2, and 0, MP3, 0, MP4, and 1, MP5. Here I just can fire T3, okay? When I fire T3, I get, so... I remove this token, I add it here. 
So I get 0 for P1, uh, 0 for P2, 0 for P3, and 1 for P4, and 1 for P5. But here we can notice that this is the same with this one here. Okay. So instead of write two markings, we, s we just say that from this, from this marking, when we fire T3, we go here. Okay. So from this, from this marking now, we have only this. Uh, so let's give a name for this transition. For example, T4. From this transit from this marking, we can only fire T4. When we fire it, so we remove this and this, and we add a token here. What we get, we get one for P1, zero for four P2, zero for P3, and zero for P4, and zero for P5. But here you can notice that this is the same of this marking. We have already we have this marking. So instead of writing a new add a new marking, we just say that from this marking with T4 we go to the first state and zero. Okay. So that's with T4. So that's our coverability graph for this uh, picture now. In the next video, some, excuse me, sometimes if we have, for example, so that's for this, let me just add an other net. for example, this net here. This is P1, and this is P2, and this is T1. And we have a token initially here. Yes. So here the initial marking is 1 for P1 and 0 for P2. Here the fireable uh, place is a uh, transition is T1. Okay. So when I fire, what I do, so I remove this token from here and I add one here and one here because that's an output also. Okay, I get one, one. From this, uh, from this marking, we can fire this also. Okay, when we fire, we remove this and we add one here and one here. So we get one two. We can fire also. We always we fire T1, T1, T1. We get 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5. So this marking, this, this coverability graph will not end. Okay. Will not end at all. We always just add token here. In the next video, I will talk about this problem. How we can deal with it. So... Uh, that's it. I hope that you subscribe to my channel because that motivates me a lot to, up to upload more and more videos about Petrinet. Uh, see you later.